Imagine you're outside and it's super sunny. You start sweating and it's really uncomfortable. Good thing you're wearing your nanoscience shirt. Your shirt can magically move the sweat away from your body. But how does it do this? The answer lies in the world of nanoscience. Hi, my name is Joel Bosky. I'm in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at the RPI. And I work on very small scale devices. Joel studies the way fluids, like water, move. But Joel looks at how fluids move through things that are really, really tiny. Nanoscience is really all about the study of materials and devices and systems that are extraordinarily small. The field Joel works in is called nanofluidics, which is how fluids move through really tiny things. Before we learn about the way fluids move in teeny tiny things, let's talk about fluids in everyday life. Fluids are actually made up of a lot of little parts called molecules. All of these molecules can move on their own. For example, if you look at a straw and you drop a straw, for example, in water, you'll see that the water that's inside the straw is a little bit higher than the water, say, that was inside the glass. This is because of how the straw affects the water molecules. When the water molecules are inside the straw, they stick to the sides of it. So now how would the straw affect the water if it was super small? What if the straw was nano-sized? So nano-sized pipes have extremely small diameters associated with them, right? Maybe a hundred to a thousand times smaller than your hair. So very few things can actually fit inside them. If I take that straw and I squeeze it down a thousand times, right, then the water is going to rise up that straw much, much farther than it would be in a big straw. Because nanopipes are so narrow, the molecules inside of them always touch the walls. This allows the fluid to climb much higher up the sides. Nanopipes affect fluids very differently than regular pipes. And so we can use that technology to make all sorts of wicking kinds of materials. Materials that would say remove sweat from your body or materials that would actually drive liquids from one location to another without actually having to use a mechanical pump. Nanopipes can also help clean up oil spills, clean dirty water, and so much more. Remember your magical nanoscience shirt? You could sew a shirt of all nanopipes and sweat could climb up the pipes and away from your body all on its own. Now we just need to make sure that it is comfortable to wear. I really like the idea for, in, in nanoscience of being able to investigate what happens as I confine things into a really extreme environment. Are you ready to be a nanoscientist like Joel? Check out the Challenge and Curiosity Machine.